All right, Andy Bayer, it's good to see you back. Thanks, Chris. How, how's it feel to be back? Good, I'm having fun with it. Uh, this is kind of like a spur of the moment decision last summer. I was like, I basically like checked out a track for like a year, year and a half, and not paid much attention. And then I was playing a lot of pickup soccer. Shout out Indigo Boys. Uh, but uh, then, I don't know, last summer I started running a little bit more, and then we were on vacation in Maine, and I was chatting with the real Maine, who's like, uh, you know, it's just inspiring up there, I guess. So, I don't know, I, we were just were chatting about it, and like, maybe I could give this a shot. I got a flexible job, I work from home, there's still running left in the legs, and I retired, so now it's just like, Really, this year I'm just trying to have fun, see if I can, you know, get back in the mix at USA's and not put it, no pressure to make the world team. If I did, that'd be, you know, icing on the cake, but it's really just trying to have fun and get back to where I'm competitive leading into next year. What spurred the initial retirement? Because I guess, like, there was that article about just kind of, like, the finances of, like, supporting the dream and, and, like, I guess, like, what, what led you to retire in the first place? Yeah, uh... Without hopefully getting sued by Nike, they kind of uh, they kind of pulled the rug out from under me. My uh, in tw like fall of 2020, I like hadn't raced all year because of COVID, and then suddenly they were trying to like reduce me for dumb crap, like not not making an Olympic team that didn't happen. Um, and it was just one of those things where I was a little burnt. Like I'd done it a while. It's like kind of a grind. I had family, and it was just like. I didn't even, like the excitement going into 2021 was like low. And then uh, just knowing like I needed to make money and it was like, Susquehanna basically I jumped into this really intensive program stretch. to do software engineering. That's my and it was like, I just didn't feel like I had the mental engineering. energy to do it, like to give it another six months even to try and make the team. And it was just like, I was kind of fine with the decision and it um, on right now. got a job and, um, Taking this one straight and it was fine. And I, I was overall like, We'll Never felt like I was like, carry. you know, I guess watching 2021, Olymp like, I, a little bit, it was like, I feel like I should have been there, but at the same time, it was like, all those guys deserve to make it, and um, I didn't really have any regrets, but then it started sounding fun again, so I was like, why not give it a try? Like, do you think that now having that, that job outside of track gives you a little bit of a healthier balance, where it's like, all right, not like, not every weekend is chasing a paycheck or anything yeah. like that? I, Kyle and I have talked to like someone like Johnny who's like going through school and like that extra thing outside of yeah. track helps. Yeah, totally. And all, ever very since very I left Bowerman, I've always forth. tried to have like a little more balance. Like when we moved back to Bloomington, I was like, we were trying to read. My wife and I were like fixing up a very old 1800s home and weird stuff like that. But definitely job like in terms of the stress of like making money, it's great. And my shout out, Demand Jump too. My company has been like really fun. Like one. when I made this decision last summer, I, I didn't like let it affect work at all. Like I was just running outside of like before work or after work. If anything, and I work from home, so it's like no commute means I can running start running at 7.30 and still be ready to Steve work at Decker night. The and then as it's gotten a little bit more intense the last we'll like right few months, I legs. reached out to my manager and basically was like, uh, this is kind of what I'm doing, and I don't know if you guys would be willing to work with me, and he was totally like, yeah, that sounds great, like, take a few hours off here and there, and, uh, just make it happen, and so they've been really supportive, and it's just a fun group to be around, and yeah, um, it's, like, nice for my family to, like, working a different job, it's actually easy, like, our whole families, even though I haven't made US Champs yet, we, like, booked a trip just so... You know, we lived in Portland. We want to show our kids Portland anyway. So it's like, provides stability, honestly. And it's a bummer that track can't provide that stability right now. Hopefully it gets there at some point with, with your guys' hard work and hashtag good for the sport. But uh, speaking of, I need a coffee club pod sticker. <laughs> if you see those guys. Uh, yeah. But no, uh, yeah, it's fun. And it, it, it's nice to have like, just go out and work hard and not but beyond that it's just seeing what I can do to push myself and yeah um, on's been supportive they've been sending me some gear and everyone's really I don't know it's fun to be back around people and they're like good to see ya yeah it's like yeah so, so all right so the, getting back into workouts there must have been a point where you're like oh man this isn't as easy as I remember it being totally um 
Yeah, like when I first started in the fall, I was like, we're, I, Andrew Poor, who I ran with, is coaching me, and uh, and in the fall, I, I like kind of felt like I had to prove, like when I should have been doing base training, I was like, let's just try a 5K session and see what happens. And he's like, he was kind of letting me guide it too much, and I would like put myself in these huge holes and then be like, just chill out. And so. Finally, he was like, Andy, will you just let me write the training and like not mess with it? And it's been really good. Like it's been good. And it's, but yeah, like I was, I've been like kind of a rookie to at times. Like I felt really fit in December and then I um, kind of got a little banged up in January and just was feeling crappy. And of course I had like let my iron drop really low and I had to start you know, forgetting to do the little things sometimes, like, yeah. I don't know, but, uh, but yeah, it's fun, uh, and yeah, every once in a while, like, uh, when it's cold and windy and I'm so low and it's like, why am I doing this, but, but it's overall, you know, I want to, I would want to be, I'd probably be doing it anyway, right, like, you know, we're all out there running and having fun and it's a good sport, so, overall, it's good. All right, I won't keep you out here for too long so you can get dry and, yeah. and warm up, but, what would make this comeback a success for you? I mean, it's like qualifying for USA is like, I mean, that idea that 2019 you were on that world team and everything yeah, like that, but it's like, it's right been a while since that. At this point, it's like you're close enough to like next year's trials as well for that to be like a full on like year under your belt and then give it a good go. But I guess this looking at this summer in particular, what makes it a success? I think if I'm just competitive, I'd like to make the US team and make the final, or US championships and then make the final. And then just like, I mean, to be honest, like until that last hurdle, is like I'm, I like Isaac jumped me pretty good, and I wasn't gonna like he's fit and flying, but uh, I was like I'm, I'm not that far out of it, right? And so I don't know. I feel confident that just, just mixing it up with guys. To be honest, like I would love to be get down to like low eight twenties at least and see where I'm at, and then um, yeah, just prove that I can get back to it, basically. Yeah. Wait, so what happened on that final hurdle? People want to know. Okay, so <laughs> Andrew said he's taking the fall, but I was feeling good, and Andrew yells, Andy, just have a good last hurdle. And, of course, I, like, then take, like, six stutter steps and just hit my spike full on and, like, concuss my face, I think. Uh, and I had to show that I'm human, right? I'm, uh, no, I don't know. It was just... Right now. Just me psyching myself out, getting too excited, so I don't know. But uh, I wanted to show that not only Evan falls over the last hurdle, <laughs> but I can do it too. So, All right, there we go. Yeah. What, wait, what's the what's the kit? Okay, so my dad owned a car, uh, a building company in the '80s called Character Builders Inc. Um, so. As my dad's always been my biggest fan and like uh, a big part of my career. Like in college, he was driving all over the Midwest to watch every meet. So I just took the ink and turned it into a TC. There you go. And and this is my kit. So anyone that wants to be a part of the Character Builders Track Club is more than welcome. I'll do another shirt printing soon. Awesome. All right, Andy. Well, it's good to see you back, and I'm sure we'll catch you at another race soon. Yep. Thanks, Chris.